All right, we're back with part three. And this mouse in particular, it's the furthest thing from a basic mouse. In fact, it's one that you'll want to give yourself a few minutes to carefully take the time to set up. But I promise you this much, it's well worth it. I'm Mikey, and this is your Sadie's Weekly Update. If you've been following over the last three weeks, we've been covering our gaming mice, and so far we've covered two of our three flagship mice. But today, we're adding the cherry to the top with the Sede's Axe. Not only is this our biggest mouse to date, but we've also included some remarkable features, making it one of the most customizable peripherals on our roster. When it comes to the axe, we've designed an aggressive body molded specifically to fit the palm of your hand and fingers like a glove. This allows for more fluidity in your movement. Additionally, we've stuck with the same PWM3325 sensor while essentially giving the axe a complete buff in terms of features. Coming in at 124mm in length by 79mm in width with a height of 43.5mm, the axe absolutely has more girth over its predecessors, the revolver and scythe. When we look at the weight, the axe sits at 108 grams out of the box with the option of adding an additional 10.5 grams by accessing the removable plate on the bottom of the mouse. This is not a required function, but rather an extra customizable feature for those looking to add a bit more weight to their throw. Now when compared to the revolver in sight, the axe is in fact shorter in length, but it makes up for it with its height and girth to support its additional buttons and functions. In fact, there are 12 of them. Starting with the DPI shift buttons located at the top of the mouse, which give you the same customizable on-the-fly DPI changing options found in our previous mentioned models, ranging from 200 to 10,000 DPI. As we move to the side of the mouse, we're greeted with four sculpted side buttons, as well as two standardized side buttons. Now, as stated in our last video, these are fully customizable, but to elaborate more in depth, these four sculpted thumb buttons really shine when playing MMOs and MOBAs. Now for those of you that are into the FPS genre, here's a little pro tip. When you're in the middle of a firefight and trying to focus, using these four buttons and custom mapping them to secondary weapons, grenades, and even health packs is clutch. For me specifically, I use them for callouts in games like PUBG, Warzone, and Fortnite, where this allows me to focus more on my movement using keys W, S, A, and D while keeping my mouse targeted and focused. Look, at the end of the day, it's all about efficiency and the axe does not shy away from it. In addition to the side buttons, as we go back to the top of the mouse, we've added a firing button, which has been tuned specifically for FPS gamers and colored with a light blue to make it easy to locate. Being a smaller button, we wanted to ensure that it was off-centered to give you the freedom to use it as needed. This of course is without getting out of the way when it comes to regular use. Now when it comes to RGB, we've kept things nice and simple once again, offering 12 modes and full customization through our Sede software, which once again is downloadable for free alongside our other Sede's mice. Now real quick, I want to go ahead and actually look back at the Scythe, Revolver, and Axe so we can stack them all up together and go over some comparative differences between them all on screen. So there you have it, we've got three fantastic product solutions in three distinctive flavors, and they're flowing with innovative features at price points that can't be beat. The Sede Scythe, Revolver, and Axe are all available to purchase by heading over to sedes.gg, or for those of you in North America, by simply clicking the links in the description. And a quick reminder, we are partnered with Ryoa to give you a chance to take home one of these three mice by entering our giveaway, which will run until October 31st. Head over to Twitch and tune into Rio's stream for more information on how to enter. Until next time, I'm Mikey and this is your Sade's Weekly Update. We'll catch you on the next one.